So, back with the weekly videos. We took a pretty extended break after the season and even after the camp in Scotland where I was filming. So last video you would have seen me with the team up in Scotland for the fitness camp. And since then, I've, it's, been, it's been all out training at home. We weren't meant to be on camp already this week, but there was a refrigeration issue up in Wittenberg. So first camp cancelled and we're now a week and a half away from the first camp, sort of in the middle of a heavy week this week before easing off next week ahead of the camp. I've been pretty busy actually moved to Switzerland from Austria so there's been a there's been a lot to do here including a lot of bodge jobs cowboy DIY So YouTube videos have been a little on hold, but I thought I'd take you for a day in the life of my program here on a heavy week. It's split up into a mixture of days with cardio and lifting, but today I've got a lift in the morning, then the afternoon is open to how I want to make it. So I don't even know what I'm going to do this afternoon yet, I have not decided. I'm actually running behind schedule because last night I had a dinner with a potential sponsor. Investors? Possibly you! So I was out much later than my bedtime, but sometimes that's what you gotta do. Although sleep is non-negotiable. So lion this morning, which if you know me, I'm not usually one for a lion. So program today is delayed a few hours, but you know what, I probably didn't even need to say that because how would you know? I could have said this was 6 a.m. I should have said this was 6 a.m. Still could say this was 6 a.m. <laughs> The alpha male rises early to get on the grind. He must often repeat his fellow scares on the World Cup. I need to finish my breakfast. As well as the day in life, I also wanted to do a bit of a season review. Kind of go through some of the highlights, uh, tough points season yeah do a bit of a season evaluation because now is the time when you really build things for next year first I need to do this session I like to do a really thorough warm-up especially with a couple of the nickels I had last year like my back and my glute I really try and make sure everything's warmed up activated and moving before getting into the lift most sessions start off with something explosive like the jump squat. And then today, hand cleans also try and be explosive and snappy. Then it's on to the main lift for today, which is deadlifts. And to continue building balance into my glutes and hamstring, I always have a single leg glute hamstring bridge or curl. I also like to incorporate some little challenges into my session. This one on the Swiss ball. The aim is to go from sitting to lying, sitting, kneeling, standing, back to kneeling, back to sitting, without falling off. If anyone gives this a go, post it on Instagram and tag me so I can have a look. Eventually I did get there. And of course you can't forget about Cool. These ones on the Bozu are a killer. And despite what Dave says, a little upper body can't hurt. 104, definitely time for some food. I'm gonna get cooking. Then we could probably sit down and talk about last season. Trust me, these wraps will close. I'm an expert at overfilling wraps. You gotta, you gotta know the limit to get the perfect ratio. I'm not sure why I thought it was a good idea to film my season review while eating because once I started, I couldn't stop. 
now that I'm suitably fed, I want to take a look back at the season. I have written some things down on my phone. If I give you my honest sort of initial reaction of the season, it would be to say I wasn't satisfied. And I'm sure there's plenty of people watching this who can relate. I wanted more. Maybe that's always going to be the case. And that's just how it goes. Do better. You want to do even better than that. Achieve your goal. Actually kind of fancy the goal a bit better than that. So that's where I'm at. Basically I wanted more. The sort of the outcome goals I really wanted. A spot in the top 30 and top 7 in the Europa Cup. Which I didn't achieve. But if I look back at the highlights um, of my own performances. Like winning the first run in Oberegen. Madonna when all three of us were in the top 30. Chamonix, when I was not feeling good. And the young not British yes. racer has done it in his own backyard. But managed to put it down. And in the end, I scored more World Cup points than I have done before. So zooming out like that, I am happy to have made that improvement. But I think the dissatisfaction comes from knowing I can do better. So don't think I'm being negative about it. I just believe I can do better. So looking through to next year, how can I improve and then also show what I believe I'm capable of. I particularly struggled in the rough conditions. The ruts, they had me. So something I need to do and work on my performance in tougher conditions. Got to practice it, focus, in those, focus on those later runs in the course, put myself in the positions where I'm skiing those ratted courses more often. But let's let's hope for a cold winter. Let's prepare for a warm one, but pray for a cold one. The other thing I've written down here is my consistency. It could do with a top up. There are a few many letters on my FIS profile at the moment. That's one of the things I really wanted to improve. I need to find a balance between going too hard and then putting the handbrake on. One's risky and one's just slow. That's more of a tactical thing to work on. Alongside that is the technical things that I can work on to make my skiing a little, a little less vulnerable, solid. Obviously I want to still be free uh, and able to move and flow but it's also got to be in a way that I can keep moving with it and control but also in that is how I read courses and working on making recoveries when things do happen and the last point I've written down here my mindset it's one of those areas that's very easy to look past and forget about but in the end there's so much mental to it as you'll probably know and it's one of the things that can make the biggest difference to performance so I'd be stupid not to work on it considering I just said that so that's something I'm going to be working on a lot this summer I know I've already started so to round up in sort of a conclusion showed some really good things in the season and happy with some of the skiing definitely showed some improvement but got some things to get stuck into and the summer is a good time to do it now even just in this physical prep there's obviously the mental work the physical work getting stronger fitter than last year is the goal then it's also about adding my own little spice to things this afternoon's kind of open to how i want to take it today i think i'm going to go down to the park maybe play around with some sort of acrobatic stuff and that's to work on coordination balance spatial awareness first got a little time now to rest up the legs a bit before this afternoon I'm still editing the video from Scotland that's going up tomorrow so I need to get that finished the mess I showed you if I showed you the mess in the hallway I've got to clear that up I've got to put up some curtains jeez I've got a lot to do gosh three hours three hours in the editing chair that's quite substantial but sort of the four to five hours you're looking for between sessions. All the other jobs I said I wanted to do have not been done, but my video's finished, so can't complain. Charlie Raposo. He's really exhausted all his other contacts if he's calling me. Yes, servus, Charlie. I would usually roll the blade down to the park, but it started to rain, so I jogged down, and in the end the grass was a bit too wet for what I had planned. But jogging back, I found a dry railing under some trees to mess around on. And I set myself some challenges. Actually, 
saw Zubo balancing sideways on a high bar. That looks more difficult, but it was above a mat. I'd do it above stinging nettles. Ooh, you're hard, show him. sweating buckets. Last part of this is some mobility work. Last year I put on quite a lot of muscle and gained a lot of strength but I feel like I then in that lost some of my mobility which is usually one of my strong suits so I'm trying to really push to even gain mobility as well as the strength. These exercises may look basic and simple but they're a serious burner and they've been a real indicator for the weak links in my chain. They're working on the range of motion, but at the same time, the strength through that range of motion. And that's the working out for the day done. Sweaty and hot time now just to water and feed the plants and than myself. <laughs> Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'd appreciate it if you if you liked the video, drop it a like, leave a comment, let me know anything else you'd like me to include in these videos. I did get some comments on the last video already after I filmed this section. Maybe looking at going a bit deeper into some of the races last year individually and looking at the video and doing a bit of analysis like that. This was more of a overall review, but that sort of thing does take up a lot of space in a video, especially if it's a weekly vlog. So I was thinking potentially about starting up a Patreon where I would post extra content, which I could do things like that with more in-depth reviews or analysis frame by frame, looking at the video of races last year and potentially even training as I'm doing it and how I look at it and analyze it and and what I'm working on, things like that. So if you're interested, let me know in the comments and also anything else you might want to see if I were to create a Patreon. The video for you next week, uh, I have an easy week. So join me for what that looks like. Uh, and then tomorrow for me right now, after having finished editing this video, I am heading to Belgium for our first camp. It's been a long break actually and it's, it's, it has been really nice to have some time off, do some other things, spend some time at home but I am looking forward to getting started again and working towards next season. Anyway that's it for this video, stay tuned and I will see you next week. <laughs>